Zombie Group, you did not do a good job of policing these guys what? on their colors. <laughs> Oh, well, it's been a while. I totally forgot about it. <laughs> I know, me too. I actually, so Fear Dragon was doing, he, he took it upon himself to do lobby hosting while you were gone, right? I know. And one of those duties was like, all right, you got to place these guys on their color. And his response was, why? Because I'm colored. <laughs> I was like, what uh, the uh, fuck, uh, buddy? Uh, <laughs> like, that was a quick, snappy <laughs> response. Someone's sensitive. I feel sensitive. like Fear Dragon has become Fat Amy. You know, kind of a Call little yourself bit. Fat Amy, yes, you bitches don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was gonna say beautiful, but okay, sure, whatever. Um, okay. We do have two players going for Hantry first here. It is the semifinals of the Alima League. It's spawning on the top right side of Dusk Towers. It's going to be the Blue Zerg. Sidestorm Gaming's true. In the bottom left, as the Teal Zerg, it is Sulky. Sulky and True have been playing the Alima League longer than most, and they are both absolutely fantastic players. And as much as I might have been getting a little bit bummed out, I'm going to be honest, more than a little bit bummed out that it's ZVZ all the time nowadays, these are two players I could probably cast the best of 69 with. Like, I know the games would be different for almost every single one, and even when it is the standard, say, Roach Ravager versus Roach Ravager, um, what's great is watching people like Sulky and their control over Lycrosa Biles. Yeah. But I, it's, it'll be fun. I mean, see. what's more fun than casting with me? I, yeah. Oh, I can think of like a million things. Shut up, you. Shut up. So it's True's birthday as well. I want to remind you guys, he is currently streaming his matches. And whether he wins or loses the Alima League today, the plan is if he's still streaming when it's done, we'll go give him a host. We'll give him a bit of a raid. We'll give him some love. But uh, it is his birthday if you guys want to pop over and say happy birthday because he is streaming his matches. We also have KJ Freedom donating $25, cheering for True. This is, of course, for those who don't know, one of the wonderful people who make Sunnystorm Gaming possible. And uh, KJ Freedom, you forgot to include, sir. I'll keep an eye on chat. Do you want to hashtag save it or hashtag shave it? And for those who aren't up to date and keeping in with this terrible, terrible donation goal, <laughs> um, basically, save it goes towards me keeping this mustache for J-Mac Austin, at which point Zombie Urban Olivia can make me keep it further while we're casting the CSL Finals live at DreamHack, uh -huh. or they can uh -huh. turn it to whatever mustache Hitler style they want. Um, shave it means I get to shave it. I'm free of this burden, so. Have you ever seen Brave? <laughs> Yes. Do you know that gift that everyone uses, like that feel win or whatever, and it's like the mom tasting the, the bad food? No, I just know the bears ah, were super man. cute. Okay, I'm going to look up that gift because that I, I just made that face when you were like talking about your mustache. Anyway, um, my man stash. Two things to note. One, <laughs> our Protoss and Terran at least put up a fight, okay? Both their matches were 2 1. Tails That's almost true. did it. That's and I, I'm proud of Tails, but still not proud enough. Uh, and then second of all, we just limit how many Zerg can sign up. And I'm actually half serious about this. <laughs> Pro League does it, doesn't? No, wait, they did. Like, it. like no more than eight Zerg can sign up for this bracket until non-Zerg start winning. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure Pro League did it, or Pro League did it, and still do it. Like, you can't stack your team entirely with Zerg or whatever. Because I think they they didn't used to care. Um, anyway, Maybe this is how Pro League got to where they are. Like, we are the. <laughs> What they wanted to be, and they suddenly started out. <laughs> they just need to tighten it a little bit and tighten it a little bit more, and then suddenly we're Casper. Yeah, exactly. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a tough hold for True, but he does start off really well. He's up 10 workers, so he's certainly got things to lose. What? Bailing's training up pretty decently with other Bailing's, but because they're all blues, so they look similar. So sorry, colorblind folks. We know. We know. We'll try and keep this clear for the future, but holding into his natural base, pulling those drones back. True's looking damn strong. The queens, I want to point out, aren't really close to dead yet. Uh, this one might die here, but... For the most part, the hardest thing is keeping these queens alive so they can continue to snipe banelings in the future. Mm. So, I mean, the aggression's not stopping. Like, this is really, really a lot of lanes from Sulky, and of course, true on that offensive will turn to offensive should he be able to ever, like, actually Ooh. push this back. Um, usually by now, someone has started to drone. Either He's... the defender, like, you know, in an error, or the attacker to try and get ahead. True didn't take bad bailing hits, but he did trade out really ineffectively. Like, it was started going from, like, one or two for bailing to, like, three to five. Now, he's still got a lot of links to work with, but he is out of queens. However, Sulky just can't seem to break him. Like, he's just barely not able to break him, despite yeah. these queens going down. I mean, he has been whittling away at the defense, but not at the drone line. So, True's had a lot of money to work with. He could have replaced these queens. He didn't, however. Mm. 
another problem, of course, is that Sulky, and he just tried right here, is not getting anything to complicated like he's not getting into every single base he really is just being stopped on one ramp and true has ah. done a very good job of keeping his drone uh, alive like they've never transferred over to the third base at their base is just a larva making machine now and he tries to counter capitalize on being able to push sulky back but it's gonna get cleaned up but this is back in respect this is way better than fighting over here than it is at fighting at home KJ it's, Freedom, by the yeah. way, putting that $25 towards hashtag save it. <laughs> Damn it! It is a... It's easier. It's it's definitely easier on the mind to be across the map attacking. As you can see, this is where things go a little bit wrong for True, is when Sulky is able to get into the natural, into the main base with a lot of... Lings. Those were definitely True's Bane Lings. It could have exploded on Sulky's Lings. Um, but it didn't happen, so that's odd. He also gets to the mineral line. I mean, for the first time, the drones actually get compromised. True, however, starts getting over there as well. Six, nine, ten. All of a sudden, three different bases where the workers are going down. And True may have just given away this game. A little too tunnel vision on the other side of the map. Uh, 13 workers dead. Only barely puts him behind, though. So I guess maybe it's not quite the throw I thought it was. But it is a situation where he is really, I feel, if he... Because true, we know to be queen, a queen player. To go for somebody who's four queens, six queens, you name it. But to have had none to play with for so long, I think is what's truly killing him here. And its emphasis to build lings is not a wrong choice, but he needed to build queens with this so much sooner, so much earlier. Mm. It could start to snowball, um, but it's still, you know, as you said, it's not like a, it's not like a done game. True being down four workers, considering he was up so many, Obviously sucks. He's doing such a good job he's... holding on, and then he got maybe a little too fancy with these attacks. Yeah, he's he's focusing a lot on the counterattacks now, which I think <laughs> sound like a better idea than they're actually turning out to be. Yeah, yeah. I, I think this is where it went wrong, but you know, he got four drones killed himself, so now they're back at even drones, even bases. Not quite even army supply, but that can all change with one good bailing hit. All right, so as expected, people are asking about the colors and the relations to the game. Uh, it's worth noting players choose colors, and oftentimes they don't pick colors that are too similar, so we don't normally have to look for this. So I just want to put everyone's mind at ease. We will make sure this uh, blue versus blue problem does not happen again, or at least try <laughs> our best to. But uh, True's still holding on to that ramp, man. He's got, I mean, both players are on three bases. I would I would argue for Sulky at this point. Well, he's trying to break True on the ramp and really devastate uh. the main base. Um, maybe just seek down that bailing nest. It's exposed, then True will have nothing left to fight with afterwards, and it'll just be such Good a one-sided game. I mean, you wouldn't even have to put bailings into it. You would just put wings on the bailing nest. Yeah, it's a good point. Uh, maybe you've heard of the, the, the broodlings would actually help out too much, but I was laughing at a, the queen chance to use a baneling, so it helped a little bit. It does go down, though. Again, uh, True, with his lack of queens, is, is it's going to be a problem. Like He just will it's, not be able to outpace Sulky. This is turn into like the Guru Revolver series, right? Where it was like, they both mined out of their mains. They had both taken all of their gas. <laughs> it might. I, that's why, you know, four, or not four minutes ago, like two minutes ago, I was saying usually someone has, you know, chosen to drone. At the time, it would have been Sulky, but, you know, true too, even drones could try and, and do that as well as he starts to pressure once more. But no one is attempting to get beyond anything but pure Ling. And if anyone tried, they would might just lose the game straight up. Yeah, it's, I mean, a Roach War in itself is too expensive to invest into. That's three, that's three sets of Lings you could have had. Uh, not too expensive for True, though, who is running out of Larva. So that's a problem. Oh, there uh, he goes. It just popped. Well, even with or without Larva, I mean, he's not... He's not in a position where I think money's going to be the money. Uh, Larva's not going to be the limiting factor. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, it's worth noting, Sulky, though, does have more queens in production, so he's going to be replacing the ones lost. He just... Yeah, yeah. She just has not had any queens. The last one died on the ramp. And yeah. she obviously was not injecting for some time. So this is getting more all in for him, but it is starting to work. Uh, nothing on the defense. Sulky sent a bunch of lings on the offense here. His queen goes down. Oh, yeah, another one gets picked. Uh, I was going to say really quick, we got another two-year sub coming in, by the way, through Crowtail. Yeah. Uh, what used to be Axiom's biggest fanboy. Maybe still is, I guess, is safe to say, but uh, Crowtail's been with us for two years. Wonderful dude. Thank you so much. Big support over on Wardy's channel, too. Guy loves esports. Mm. 
Well, Sulky has lost two more drones. They're even on army, and True might have just brought this game back. A big flood of lings pop out, but Sulky has got to wait for those banelings, which are hatching now. This that's is, True's baneling. This is damn impressive out of True, I gotta say. As he gets to this mineral line, it's certainly a little bit dangerous. If he splits his lings up, he won't take too much from these banelings. He was trying to do like a two and two split, but now it's Sulky who's gone for the counterattack, and True finds himself with Banelings just barely finishing. Boom! Uh, Great hit to start. Mm. I'm so surprised. Sulky killed True's queens, but now True is killing Sulky's min or uh, drone. So I think Sulky's the one that loses here. Uh, I both. thought at some point True would run out of steam, but I guess three hatcheries was enough. <laughs> they both lost a lot of workers, but True's the one who lost far less. Now put an asterisk there because it could still change but yeah if 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 sulky has to fight with eight workers that's not going to keep up with drones now true at this point we've talked about like uh. larva not being a limiting factor and it won't be but money will be finally the choice for sulky oh, and that's going to have him tap out gg true does wow. take game number one that took uh, a lot of time that's i just want to really stress every pro player i've ever talked to that Zerg always talks about how stressful that part of the game is because like again you make one misclick one mistake into a baneling and that's your whole army gone you know like that for that to have gone on for nine minutes ten minutes straight that's damn impressive out of both players like regardless of who was at which point ahead like to have them both tango like that that's when you know you've got two players of very equal skill and that's why i was like okay you know what even though it's zvz i'm stoked for this series now does sulky's map choice by the way Bloody save it's now at 99. <laughs> Did you call it bloody? Uh, English? I, I was trying to avoid saying fucking, but yeah. Uh, I'm trying I'm trying to curve my curf cursing. Well, when you say thing. bloody shave it, it just... Bloody might. I mean, it, it doesn't sound English. It sounds like you want some blood. Well, what word would you have used? I'm... Fracking? Flipping? Nope. Same... Same difference. I'm trying. Nope. I'm trying to avoid saying frickin' or frackin' or anything Why? like that. I don't know. I, I dropped like seven motherfuckers on cast yesterday, and I thought, you know what? Maybe I say. Maybe I do swear a little bit much. But frackin's not a curse word. That's why you use frackin it. is absolutely just fucking in a different. Fr it's like frelling from Farscape. It's frackin from Stargate or from what do you uh, think son Battle of a Star. Beach like, nut is like. That's the whole point. When a kid uh, says, like, look, gosh darn it, a adult doesn't go, oh, that's just a word for damn it. You're going to get in trouble. You can try and bully me all you'd like. It's not going to happen. And bloody I'm is an actual try my best like, to go a different word, direction isn't it? With it. Like, it's considered improper to use in, like, everyday conversation. Nope. Frozen Temple going to be the uh, <laughs> map set for your game two. Semi-finals. Uh, top half, we did have Hydra, as you pointed out, advanced on a fight against Scarlet, so we'll be casting that next. But not before this one. We'll see you guys soon. So I would like to point out the insistence on keeping the same strategy as uh, still gas pull out of True, despite the remake. So uh, I guess I'll introduce him since I panned over this side of the map as we are in a much better colored <laughs> game number two. Spotting on the upper left side of Frozen Temple. It's going to be the blue Zerg player, Storm Gaming's True. Currently up 1-0 here against his opponents. In the bottom right as the red Zerg, it is TCM Sulky. All right. Okay, so I guess for Sulky, this isn't a terrible opening. The map is deceptively short, though, so this is going to be probably a bit rough to hold. I mean, if he goes gas before pool, that's going to be the worst possible version of this build order, and he is! Uh... <laughs> True's read him like a book! He knows, he knows exactly what Sulky was going to do. Well, that's a problem for Sulky, but this isn't game over yet. I'll we'll see what the defense looks like. I'll we'll see if True messes up basically i like, can't actually close out the win uh he's not getting any more gas so it's not the true <laughs> all in um is not gonna have a baneling nest at least not yet so if it goes into the mid game it will and with that sulky should have an easier time like he might still lose drones like he probably will and he might lose his hatchery but the game might just go on i guess this is kind of like dust tires you get sneaker on the side just hope this doesn't get scouted that's good, but uh, 
I just I'm wondering how this will work. I mean, we've seen Sulky actually defend these moves. We've seen him throw down that Evo Chamber and the Spine Crawler in the main and do that really sick lock off of his main base. Because the natural can be forfeit. True, I doubt, is looking to kill the natural with this. If he does, cool, great, whatever. But if True actually gets into the main base, that's where I think this gets troublesome. Sure. Um, well, it might just happen. He was trying to hide it, I guess, until speed finished. Uh, reveals it to an overload just seconds before, but that doesn't matter. Solkies of Queens were not ready to block the ramp, even though his Ling's like, we're going to try. And he does pull the drones. Uh, so he puts on a spine crawler, but his overlord is very close to seeing that it... Oh, no, it does see a hatch. Never mind. Um, the spine crawler is never going to be, like, super unnecessary. Um, especially since it is speed and not just like slow lings, but there's no Bailings going to be able to snipe and it's not even helping out right here <laughs> at this natural. If you can get it on the low ground, it'll help like drastically against follow-up attacks, mm, but Solky are... is probably already dead. Yeah, the Queens are gone. That spine crawler can hold for a little bit, but it, the problem with it is it doesn't kill lings fast enough. Like these will, if nothing else, shut down mining if they'd really like to. I what? mean, if True Ooh. wants to spice this up with a Bailing Nest, he still can. He's going to take the natural base for now, and this is kind of like that constellation, but for the time being, he's at least evened up the worker count. He does have an army supply lead, so in many different regards, he is looking very good right now. Yeah, Solki, I don't think he's going to be able to save this base. Uh, it's half the army supply. His lanes don't get the best around either, and with that, that, that should have been the game. GG. <laughs> GG. True is going to make it to the finals here on his birthday. Woo! Of course, uh, we are going to now cast the other semifinals. We got Scarlet versus Hydra. That'll be coming up here in just a moment. But I would like to point out True is currently streaming. So I hope you guys will keep him company in his Twitch channel while we wait. Um, going to head up a small break, though, while we get this next series ready to go. First map will be Dusk Towers once again. And we'll see you guys soon.